I'm Alan Shaw, I'm the, uh, I'm the clerk to the town council. Until I, until I saw the job advertised really, I had no idea what standing would be like because I'd never really heard of it. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm from, I'm from Essex and worked in London most of my life, so I was aware of Durham and I was aware of Newcastle and, and, I, and I knew County Durham because my partner used to live up here and we'd been up and I'd spent time up here, but I'd never actually been to Stanley. Um, you know, once I saw it on a map, I knew where it was. Um, so I had no expectations really. Until I, you know, until I, until I got here and saw it for myself. On the one hand, you've got you've got you know some very some very beautiful countryside all around. Um, you've got some some great villages, some some really interesting buildings, some lovely parks. And on the other hand, you've got some areas that aren't so nice. You've got some <laughs> you've got some areas where there's issues, where there's problems. You know, you've got you've got a uh, a town centre that seems to have been deliberately destroyed by the council in about 1970. <laughs> For no, for reasons I can't understand why you would, why you would do that, from the you know, But but there we go. We've got to try and make the best of what we've got. And people are great, yeah. You know, I get a few comments about being a southerner, but but you know, a little bit of a little bit of southern racism. But apart from that, everyone's been everyone's been great, yeah. You know, it's it's kind of almost it's almost you know it's almost a cliche to say that people in the northeast are the friendliest people in the country. But it's kind of true, you know. And I, I, before I moved up here, my my brother-in-law. Who's also a southerner, but he's lived up. He's lived up in uh, Newcastle and South Shields for about the last fifteen years, and he said to me, "You know, the, the difference between living when you move up, he goes, the difference between being down in Essex and being up here is, you can, if you go into a pub in your own in Essex and buy a pint, you'll sit there on your own and everyone will look at who's that loser. You go into a pub in your own in the northeast and everyone will sit and chat to you." And and actually, he's right because I have been into a pub on my own, um, and people did start chatting to me. And so I think people, are, there is a different approach. There are, people are slightly different. People are people at the end of the day, but yeah, I think. They certainly are friendlier here than they are than they are down south. Uh, the best thing about Stanley, or the most different thing about Stanley, from where I used to work, where I used to, where you know, the places I used to sort of serve, if you like, in my professional role, is the sense of community. There is a much stronger sense of community here, it, well, it, not just in Stanley, but in the northeast generally, a much stronger identity with with the local area, um, and I don't know. Sometimes I find it frustrating because actually I'm trying to serve the whole of the parish of Stanley and my councillors are more concerned about their time, their little piece of Stanley, you know, whether it be Shield Row or Anfield Plain or Catchgate or Southmore or whatever. And sometimes that's that it's really nice because clearly there is this strong identity with with the not just Stanley, but with the part of Stanley that you're from. I think it, it you know, it must stem back to the, the days when when all the settlements were based around pits and that and that sense of camaraderie that people had that worked in a lodge or in a pit together, um, because I can I can see no other reason for it, um, and it's something that you get right across County Durham. You know, you get you get village signs in places that aren't villages in County Durham. You know, because of the way that the communities were centred on the pits, and even though the pits all closed, you know, thirty years ago around here, the people still identify in those in those areas, which is interesting. You know, I've had, I found it hilarious when I was organising a, 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 an event in Southmore Park to find that, that to find that you know from speaking to people that that people in Quakies and people in Southmore used to have quite a rivalry, even though to the outsider who knows nothing, it's kind of the same place. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, that 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 I enjoy. It's it has its challenges, but that strong sense of community is something that's good, and it's something actually that. You know, do what we're trying to do. It's something that's really helpful for us to try and build on. When I worked, you know, at a town council down south, that didn't exist. Even though the town was much more homogenous, um, and people from the little hamlets on the outside of it didn't think they lived somewhere else, there was there was less kind of willingness to to identify, you know, and pull together. So that's that's probably the best thing about being in Stanley. I think that there's a perception that there's lots of crime in Stanley, but you know, my experience of being here for not quite a year. Um, is that it's just that just isn't the case. I mean, I know you know I've been I've walked around Southmore on a cold, dark winter's night, and and sometimes it can feel pretty oppressive there because of just because you've got the wind whipping up that hill at 100 miles an hour and it's cold and the street lighting's on isn't brilliant. And so I can understand why people might feel that you know might feel that, but but actually it's just the evidence doesn't seem to be there to support it. You know, you know I've not f personally had any issues where I've I've felt since I've lived in the North East, that there are any issues with crime around here. 
I mean, we've certainly we've we've got some issues here. You know, we've got some issues with regeneration, and we've got some issues with, with with you know with poverty, and we've got some issues with you know employment and 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 with transport. We've got issues in Stanley. I'm not pretending that it's some sort of fairyland because it isn't. But those issues, I don't think. That obviously, there is crime here, but there's crime everywhere. You know, it's not what people perhaps perceive it to be. And I think one of the main roles of a town council, actually, you know, part of my job is to try and change the perception of people, not just in Stanley, because I think people in Stanley have a negative view of themselves when unnecessarily to a large extent, because actually, you know, people are always banging on about concert gets everything. But when you go to concert, and, and I do go to concert, um, you know, I don't see what concert's got that Stanley hasn't got. It, it's got a retail park, which, which, to be honest with you, is completely soulless and could be anywhere i mean yeah there's a nice view across waskily way from the side of tesco's but i'd rather just go to waskily way than watch it from tesco um but the town of concert itself i don't think is any better than stanley at all um so i think that people in stanley have, have maybe developed a, a bit of a um, i don't know why because i've not been here but but they seem to have developed a little bit of a mentality that they're that they're perhaps worse off than they are and I think that part of my role is to try and not just raise the profile of Stanley sort of in the region, to try and make people come here, but it's to try and raise the profile of Stanley for people that already live in Stanley.